sometimes life feels heavy. And I know in the spiritual realm, we want to make everything sound like light and happiness, but sometimes it doesn't feel like that. Sometimes it feels really bleak. And sometimes it feels really bleak for a while. What I want to do is help you out if you're feeling that way. Because today, honestly, I am feeling that way. I feel some intense frustration and, and some darkness that has extended longer than I had hoped for. But as I was trying some of my spiritual hacks and tools this morning and not quite getting the results that I would have liked, I did get a little bit of insight. And I want to share some of that with you. Before we do that, and before we get into a meditation, I just want to say that it's important to acknowledge that for today, this day, today, it's okay to say, you know what, I own that I feel bleak. I own that I feel like I'm stuck in the darkness. I own that I feel abandoned or hopeless or in despair. You don't have to feel that way tomorrow. You don't have to commit to feel that way forever. Maybe today it feels like it's going to last forever because it's been going on for a while. But just for today, just say, you know what? For today, I own whatever <laughs> unpleasant feelings that I am feeling. And it's okay that I am feeling that right now. And it's okay that I don't know how to change that or fix that just yet. If you can make peace with that, just for today, you can take at least a little bit of the pressure off. Now, I want to invite you to join me for a meditation. This meditation may not fix everything. It may not be the magic pill, the silver bullet. But hopefully it helps you connect with a little thread that can get you to a place that feels a lot better, a place that you want to be. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but in due time. I want to invite you to get comfortable and close your eyes. We're going to dive into some visualization and reflection. Take a deep inhale with me. And a big sigh out the mouth to exhale. <sighs> One more time. Big, deep breath. Perhaps shrug the shoulders up towards your ears. And a big sigh out. <sighs> I love being in nature, especially in caves. Down in the earth. Always loved it ever since I was a kid. But one of the fears I have is being deep in a cave, far from the sunlight, and having my light source go out. And I invite you to just imagine that you've trekked into a cave by yourself. Maybe you've got a lantern or a flashlight, maybe a headlamp. And you're trudging along deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the cave. And it's a great cave. It's got stalactites hanging down from the ceiling and stalagmites coming up from the floor. Maybe some different kinds of minerals and crystals and stones on the walls. And when you shine your light around this cave, you see some pretty cool things. Maybe there's a turquoise blue little lake filled with water in this cave or a little stream running through it. But at some point, when you're very deep in this cave, out of nowhere, your light decides to quit working. It just goes out. And when this happens, you probably feel some instant panic. I invite you to acknowledge that feeling. It's okay. If you were down in a cave and your light went out, and it was just total darkness. 
It's understandable that you might feel that way. But just for a moment, be present with that feeling. Because it's pretty similar to feeling like you're stuck in a dark chapter of your life. Breathe into it. Better than panicking or running or anything else, just, okay, this is where I am right now, in this moment. This could go badly. This could go well. Something could happen. Someone could come along. Someone might not come along. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow or in an hour or 30 minutes from now or five minutes from now. But right now in this moment, I acknowledge that I feel sense of hopelessness and panic. But I am breathing. I can't control a lot of things. But I can choose to breathe. And I want to invite you to just join me in three rounds of breathing where we breathe in for a count of four through the nose and we push the lips together rather tightly and breathe out through pursed or pressed the lips for a count of eight. So inhaling through the nose for four, exhaling through pursed or pressed lips for eight. Go ahead and empty all the air from your lungs, acknowledging any sense of hopelessness or panic you might feel. And then I want to invite you to breathe in through the nose for four. One, two, three, four. Press the lips very tightly, and we're going to breathe out through those pressed lips for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in through the nose for four. One, two, three, four. Press the lips tightly, breathing out through those pressed lips for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Breathe in through the nose. One, two, three, four. Press the lips. Exhale through pressed lips for eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And just let your breathing return to normal. It's something that I have noticed from going into multiple caves throughout my life. Is that if you go deep enough in a cave where you've insulated yourself from the outer daylight, and you turn off all the lights, and you sit in darkness and stillness for a while. It may take a few moments, but your eyes do eventually adjust. And when your eyes adjust, oftentimes you can pick up the faintest, slightest bit of light. Imagine, and I invite you to imagine that you're in this cave. Your light source, only light source, has gone out. And after the initial panic, the initial hopelessness and fear, you suddenly realize that your eyes have adjusted and you are noticing, might be faint, but you're picking up on some light very faintly, very dimly, off in the distance, and you can definitely tell which direction it's coming from. Now, there's two ways of looking at this. You could look at it from the standpoint of, well, I know which way to go to get out, but I can't see the obstacles between me and there. That's okay. For right now, we don't have to get out in this moment. What we need to do is adjust and connect with that light. Imagining yourself still in this dark cave and you've picked up on that faint light coming from a specific direction. 
imagine that your body might need to be in that cave for this moment. But with your heart and soul, follow that thread of light. And if you can stay focused on that light, not giving up, not losing sight of it, it is the way out. You may need to feel your way and make sure you don't trip one step at a time. It might take a while. But following that little faint hint of light will get you where you want to be. Take you to sweet relief. Back out in the sunlight. Similarly, imagine that the solutions you're seeking for your life right now in this tough, challenging chapter, those solutions are connected to that little faint bit of light that you're picking up on. Maybe you can't instantaneously be bathed in that light, but I want you to imagine that your heart and soul and mind could follow that thread of light and keep following it, and continue following it. Even if your body, your reality says you're in this for a while, and ask that your heart and soul show you what it's like, where that light is bright. Follow that thread all the way out into the sunlight. And I ask that your soul, in this moment, that wise part of you that is beyond ego, beyond emotion, beyond suffering, that that wise part of you show you the solution. Show you yourself so much stronger, happier, healthier, in line with your purposes once you've emerged fully into that. Maybe it's just giving you a light at the end of the tunnel for now. A little hope when you're seemingly stuck in the darkness. But visualize yourself out there fully immersed in that light. Relieved, free. Not just relieved and free. Stronger, better, healthier, more vibrant than before. Then I want to ask that your soul show you maybe not every single step that's needed to get out of this dark place, but just one step. What's that first step you need to take in this moment? Get a little closer to being out in that light, fully immersed in it. Take a moment to feel what is that first step. asking your heart and soul, when can you take that first step? It's okay if it's not today. But can you take it tomorrow? Or the next day? Or next week? However deep you are in this cave of darkness and challenge and frustration, despair, whatever you might be feeling. Hold on to that little faint glimmer of light off in the distance. That's your focal point. That's what gets you where you want to be. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and pretend like it's easy and it's instant because chances are it takes time. If you've found yourself in a very frustrating, challenging chapter. The solutions are not always simple, fast, instant. They can take time. 
but you can do this. And this isn't happening to you. This is happening for you. And I speak from my own cave of challenge and darkness right now. What I am feeling, what you are feeling, is all about helping us to not just barely get out of the darkness with our lives intact, but it's actually happening for us so that we can truly be stronger than we were before we went into the cave of darkness. I want to thank you for joining me today. I don't expect this meditation fixed everything, but my hope is that it helped you at least find that faint, distant glimmer of light and know that at least you've got something to aim for, something to grab onto, to start your journey out of the darkness and into more strength and well-being than you've ever known before. Until next time.